Hey guys, welcome to the channel, love what you drive. Today we have another Jersey Panther for you. And I'm here today with my friend Albert. And this is the first one for us, because uh, this is the first interview we're doing before 9 a.m. So it's about 8.40 in the morning. We are trying to beat the weather here in uh, New Jersey. There's a storm coming, so here we are. Uh, Albert, take it away. So it's a 2007 Mercury Grand Marquis LS. Um, it has about 160,000 miles as of right now. It's about to hit 160. Um, it has had probably, I want to say four or five other owners. I don't remember specifically. Oh, wow. So when I looked at the, the history, um, it may have originated from California as a rental car. I I don't know how truthful it is. It was it like a Carfax or something? Carfax. Well, I got it from my. Um, I think it's from uh, Carfax. I got it from my insurance. Okay. So, like they have the little car care thing for Progressive or yeah. whatever it is, and um, I believe it went from there to Wisconsin. Oh man. So I believe that's where a lot of there is some rust. So yeah. I believe that's where it comes from. So um, this car has a history of traveling. Yes, and then it wound up in Pennsylvania. I bought it from a dealer in. Uh, <laughs> I almost said Coatesville, Gil Gilbertsville. Uh huh. But when I got it, it had a Pennsylvania title. I had it retitled and registered in uh, New Jersey. Okay. And um, 07, 150,000 miles. What made you get a Grand Marquis? So, this is the, like I said to you, but this is the third one I've owned, but they're very reliable, but also it's uh, my father owned about four Crown Victorias, I think. Okay. Of various, varying years. So, um, needless to say, I was always wound up driving around in one with him. So, I was okay, like... Okay, so you grew up with Panthers in the family, huh? Yeah, at okay. least with him, yeah. At least with your dad. Okay. Um, scrolling through your uh, Instagram account, Mm -hmm. I saw that your car was a different color. It was. It was white. <laughs> it was a nice white. It was a nice white. And uh, what made you repaint it? Well, the white was fading, and I wanted... Uh, or not fading, but it, the, the clear coat was coming off of it. I could see, like, uh, different... Or, not different. I could see, like, the primer underneath it and everything. And there was damage to it with rust. So uh -huh. I just wound up getting it repainted. I liked the gray because it would have to be repainted anyway. I figured I might as well go with something that I like. Okay, and what is the name of this color? It's Midnight Gray. Midnight at least gray. Uh, as close to it as they could get because it's discontinued. And is that like a Ford color or? Yeah, it was a color code TV, I believe. Okay, so it is a Ford yeah. uh, factory color, okay. Because uh, at first when I saw it on your Instagram in this color, like, oh, that looks like a Crown Vic color. Is it a Crown Vic color? I think it was at some point. I think they <laughs> used it for, like, vans or something. Oh, okay. I, I, I know it was It was used for, I might have been on Mustangs. I don't know. Oh, but, okay. So, what have you done besides the paint on the exterior? Um, on the exterior? Or in exterior, the yep, on the outside. Besides the paint? Besides the paint. Besides the crappy paint right here? <laughs> Uh, that's I didn't even notice it was chipping off until today. So and then there's a, a $25 AutoZone spoiler. I do not recommend it <laughs> um, This little uh, lip spoiler here. Yeah, it's not very good. It, yeah, it, uh, it just deforms Very very badly, you know, it's screwed in It's like oh, it's very flexible. It is yeah, so it's, uh, it's not like it's you know, you damage it very yeah. much. It might okay. Rip. And if you do damage it, you're probably damaging the whole bumper, so. You painted the grill? Yep, I take it off. We had the logo off and just spray Sprayed it. Sprayed it, you huh? could see it, yeah. My father helped me with that and, well, he did an okay job on the front, but it, it just runs yeah. in some places. Cool, did you have to change these chrome moldings? I didn't. Okay. Uh, none of the chrome moldings have been changed. I believe the ones in the back have been repaired after an accident uh, last year. 
or the other year, 2022. Uh huh. It's still 2024 already. Okay. Cool. So, what are we running for your wheels and tires? Stock. Stock. Oh yeah. Tires. Inch wheels. Are the RT43 is they're due for. I need to get them changed. I don't have the money for that yet, because um, I don't. I don't daily drive it anymore. Uh huh. But, um. You know, they're. They do their job, huh? They do. Okay. Now, uh, you can't see inside the car. What's going on with that? <laughs> um, like, who's in there? You can't, you, actually, you literally can't see. Yeah, you, you can. You can, if you put your hand up, you might be able to. Oh, like if you peek in there like this? Oh, no, if the person inside. Oh, on the inside, okay. Yes. <laughs> and the windshield is the, also? Yeah. So this is this is twenty, and then that the back everything past the windshield is five. Okay. It's, yeah, it's like uh, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> yeah, um, you would. You I've gotten pulled over for many reasons. Uh -huh. uh, being too close to the fog line is one of the primary ones the state troopers on 195 like to use. Yeah. Um, the other was uh, oh, and I also got pulled over for the same reason in Seaside Heights. Okay. Uh, I don't know. So you just they cop magnet. It could be. Not <laughs> over here. They don't like pulling people over here in Trenton. So. Okay. What do we got going on with the rear end here? So, those are the tail lights in particular are actually Amazon finds. The they're for the Crown Vic, but uh -huh. same bolt pattern. You know, you could still kind of see, you still kind of see the tail lights with them. Um, for some reason, this right one is actually the passenger side one is actually darker. It right. might, it might be the bulbs are low or like going out. I don't yeah. know, to be honest with you. But okay. so it's, that's just a pretty cool look. They're uh, and they came smoked like that, right? Yeah. Okay. That was the that was the goal, just to kind of match the aesthetic. Yeah. So you got the crown big stripe out down here. Yeah. Cool. All it right. Does, it does look a little sportier. It does. Yeah, it gives it a little more of a, like a refined look. All right. Anything else back here? Uh, not in particular. Nope. They removed, uh, when they, it was repainted, it was the Grand Marquis LS emblem was removed. The logo's gone. Yep. Yeah. And not that makes it a little bit more interesting. Right. Yeah. Okay. We have to go look under the car because we always like to stick our noses into everything. So, funny thing is the gas tank was replaced at some point. Oh, did it rust through or what? Yep, right in my right in the parking lot at my job. <laughs> I'm like, huh, it smells like gas. Oh, it is gas. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not that rusty down here though. No, I think it's a used or pre-owned part. Um, uh, yeah. They thought I towed it in, but little did they know I was driving with gas. Well, probably not the best idea. Probably shouldn't admit that either, but. <laughs> Single exhaust. Yep. No loud mufflers, no magna flows. No. Nice. Okay. Keep it now, simple. Tell us about the sticker back here. So that's a Instagram. It's easier than advertising at YouTube.com, but I, there's also a YouTube channel as well. Yeah. So if uh, Albert, you know, mine will include all your information like this and, and yeah. in the description below. We'll watch more recent videos, not not the older ones. <laughs> That's I what I tell I, everyone. <laughs> no, yeah, because I used to drive like a freaking idiot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the Trenton dash cams. Okay, and that's also your YouTube channel, correct? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, any future plans for the exterior? As in, the, yeah. Uh, no, I don't believe so. It's kind of where I want to be. I I wanted to get those freaking uh, auto vent shades. Okay. I tried once, but it wasn't fit in properly for some reason. I don't know why. Which brand did you try? The Auto Vent Shade, oh. believe it or not. Oh, I, was, okay. I was actually kind of confused on Amazon, so I wound up returning it. Okay. So, but Yeah, I think there's a couple brands that fit really well. I'm also always on the lookout, and I think Rock Auto actually had like $20 uh, Avis. Is there an Avis? Hey, this is one of the brands. Uh, it's and then they yeah I think that is ABIS, one of the brands. Yeah, like yeah. So they had like some kind of a closeout on Rock Auto for twenty bucks. I should have got it. Now I regret that I did it. Well, I th they used to have them in every Auto Zone, but now that now I'm realizing these cars are getting older and older and harder to come by, and it's not as common to go out and buy them, especially not at a brick and mortar store. Yeah. 
Okay, what do we have for the front lights? Do you want to turn them on? Yeah. Here, I'll hold this. It's got a light set up. It used to be all LEDs, but um, they were cheap Chinese ones, so from Amazon, so I wound up having to, uh, uh, one went out, so I wound up replacing both in the front regular headlights. Yep. Um, and I kept the, the fog lights. I think one of the diodes burnt out on the on the driver's side. Yeah. But. This looks good, it looks like a Marauder with the blacked out grill. Or, well, mostly blacked out grill. <laughs> yeah, you're the owner, so you know your own. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'll make Plus. fun of it all day. <laughs> and yeah. it, the closer you get, the more scratches you see, because <laughs> it's still parked on the street. So this is uh, your daily. It isn't anymore. I uh, uh, I also own a 2019 Honda Civic, but okay, it, it's just the gas right now. That's but that, the gas went down. It did. What's but the I gas? Also, I was driving. So the story is, is that. Like I said, it has a hundred, actually almost 160,000 miles. When I purchased it, uh, I had 109. Yeah. And it, I wrapped those up in almost two years because I was driving to and from Tom's River to Hamilton. Oh wow. So for that's about rough. about a six months to a year. So that's where the gas was coming from. I'd have to fill up maybe every two or, th or three or four days. Yeah. And if I stretched it, maybe five. But. Okay. Do you want to kill your lights and we're going to go ahead and look under the hood? Sure. Your lights are still on. They're auto. Oh, okay. Auto, yeah. Okay. Nothing, 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 special, nothing special. Nothing much. Your no. engine bay looks like mine. It used to be when they when I purchased it, it was beautifully cleaned, nicely detailed. <laughs> yes, brand new alternator. Okay, how recent was that? A couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago. Uh, maybe I guess it was a month ago. I suppose. Um, yes, I noticed it as soon as I got in the car, drove it to AAA, and it died in the middle of the traffic intersection oh, on wow. Route 33. So. That was a fun day. I had to push it maybe <laughs> a couple blocks. You pushed your car? I pushed it oh. with the help of like one other person at some point. Someone helped me get it through the intersection, then somebody helped me uh, get it to the parking lot. Man. And this it, isn't a Honda Civic. No, I'll tell it you isn't. that much. <laughs> no, and there was no para steering either. Yep. So having to do the minor corrections was a pain. Um, it's never really left me stranded though. Yep. So uh, it's, it's an older car. So you wind up putting some money into it and it was already kind of, it wasn't taken care of properly when I got it. So it needed a list. A list. Uh -huh. A list. Some of these cars have lists when you buy them. Yeah. Some people don't know about it, but oh, yeah, some most of them. have to be done. Um, okay. For example, Blendor actuator, heater plenum. Did I you change the Blendor actuator? I didn't, I didn't do it. Oh, somebody. Thank God I didn't do it. Well, yeah. I heard that they're a pain on this one. Yeah, yeah. There's a way where you don't have to take out the dash. Well, they also had to replace the heater core, too. So, uh, so they <laughs> it had to all... take out the dash. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what else? Uh, rear brakes were replaced at some point. I had all new shocks and struts put in uh, a couple years ago. Nice. New tires were put in. Like I said, the fuel tank. Uh, okay. The mass airflow sensor at one point. Go cool. figure. But it's been reliable, right? It has been reliable. It's just ca catching up is the, is the thing, but it's, uh, I love the car. Yeah. I, I don't want to get rid of it. People say, oh, you should get rid of it. You have two cars. You don't need to. Yeah. You're right. I probably don't need two cars, but uh, the, you could tell which one I probably like more. This one? Yeah. Yeah, so we see the white. Um, yeah, I opted not to pay the extra. Right? I don't more? even think he was gonna. It was a. It was a small shop, so yeah. I don't even think he was probably gonna charge me. So, if it was fifty dollars worth, I don't know. Yeah. These are all. These tabs are broken off. So. Yeah. So I, I always notice these clips because this is the original one, mm -hmm. and yeah. the other two are not, and a lot of people have them missing. Well, 
they, I had all three. One went missing, and so you don't need all three, I guess. But yeah, then, some people then the have third none. one broke. Some so. people have none, and it just kind of floats around here, but it stays oh. put. Okay, future plans for any of this? Intake upgrades? Not anything performance-wise. I didn't. I was, I was thinking about doing like rear gearing change, but I don't know if that's. Uh, you know, it gets good gas mileage. Is it good? Relatively speaking, yeah. I guess. For a V8. For a V8, yeah. yeah. So it's got the for older one anyway. 273 gears. Yeah. Yep. Cool. It's All still, right. It's still snappier than the Honda. Yeah. I think it is. I it's think. a V8. Yeah. I mean, it's torquey. Yeah. It's you, torquey. Whichever way you look at it, it's a V8. So it's got its uh, enough power to get it out of its own way. All right. Let's close the hood. And we'll go on to the junk in the trunk and see what's going on in there. I always, All right. I always joke with family about how many bodies it can fit. Everyone jokes about that. Yeah. It really, it, it really is spacious. Like, I fit an end table in here before, you know, uh, cabinets. Like, yeah. Really, and then you still have the space inside too. It's literally, it's it, it's not an SUV by any means, but I was giving a ride yesterday to a couple of guys, and. Uh, I opened the trunk and like, whoa, what a massive trunk. And they had luggages and... Oh, yeah, I picked up my family of four... Well, I have four other family members. Yeah. Picked them up from the airport. All, all Every bag fit in here. They're like, what? Four I had people. to empty... I did have to empty it out a little bit. Yeah. I had to take some stuff out. All right, what's the cones for? Oh, you really want to know. Yeah, we, we haven't seen cones. I've seen a lot of things in the trunks. I haven't seen a cone yet. Um, so... It's street parking, and uh, <laughs> no, that's not the reason why. You there's there's more story to it. My grandmother okay. has these neighbors that like to park uh, uh, their, with their cones. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, and they own commercial vehicles okay. on a residential street. So every once in a while, I take one of their cones or I throw them over there into their own fence. So and park there, or, okay. and then well, they wouldn't be back by the time I back so yeah yeah uh, don't tell anybody so we got parking wars yeah. <laughs> neighborhood parking wars yeah, and it's not even i don't even live there anymore yeah. so <laughs> every once in a while is this a backup camera yes there's a whole lot of other stuff that was done electronically okay so, you'll uh, tell us all about it sure <laughs> you'll see it probably when you get inside yeah. but okay well that's it no uh future plans of subwoofers and i was thinking about it yeah um at least the speakers because they're, they're i would like a little bit more bass yeah at least maybe maybe a, a small sub but okay i don't know yet yeah cool how long you had this car for uh so actually it's been three years three years oh and i've had these cars since 2019 so they're all very familiar okay now we'll do the interior Okay, so this is uh, exactly like my color of the car. Uh, do you know the... You can just, oh well, maybe you don't want to, but... Probably on there. Okay, but, so we got power seats. Power seats, um, it has, I think a general, a pretty general package. You yeah. Know. Um, automatic headlights, it has auto rear dimming mirror, locking trunk, it doesn't have the locking gas cap. I noticed that I thought that it would, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Um, it has automatic climate controls. It had uh, a regular CD player, AM, FM, all that. Mm -hmm. It has a power passenger seat, lumbar. And Does your lumbar work? Yeah. Mine's broken. Really? Kind of annoying. I ha it has a compass. That one's that stopped working. I don't know what happened. Oh, the one on top right there? Yeah. I think the display died, but um, it's not all. That's not. You okay <laughs> if I sit in here? Yeah. Okay. I'm tall. Okay. As you are. Yep. But. Yeah, so mine actually died too, but I think there's a video. I don't remember who has a video on it. It, it, well, you probably either replace the whole thing or solder something. Yeah, yeah, you gotta solder something if you don't want to replace it. Okay, so there's the. Uh, it came. It's a 07, so it came with the uh, fog lights. Because mm -hmm. mine doesn't have that. Mine didn't come with fog lights, which is. It's also an LS model. Interesting. You got actually, pedals. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, not, I guess I thought only like the LSC models came with it, unless you paid for the extra option, I guess. 
You got my Wawa coffee in there too. Not all great marquees come with that, especially not <laughs> not anywhere outside of Jersey. You know. With the Wawa cup? No. What a great value of water either. But okay. Yeah. One thing I don't like exactly is the cup holders. Oh, never, why is that? I never, I never, I mean, I, I don't mind. I like that they fold away, but I never really liked how small they are or how flimsy they are. So, for example, we'll turn it around corners with how boaty the car actually yeah. is. Uh, the, that cup could go flying. I've had it happen before where a, a cup that small flies over the corner. Yeah. Or it leans to the point where I wind up with coffee on my leg. So... It's it's all right though. It's it, you you get used to it. <laughs> you gotta stop drifting, Albert. I'm not drifting. <laughs> <laughs> gotta stop drifting this boat. What happened to your uh, light here? It came with it came like that, oh, came and I had it. no interest in fix. I really had no interest in fixing it. I didn't even know what it was at first. It took a little while. It, the light's still in there. Just the little cap, I guess, is missing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Tell us about these dash cams. So. I, I've had three, I believe three cameras in this car at this point. Um, this is probably the, this, well, yeah, this is the last one. It's a VFO A139, so it's a three channel dash cam. If you want to pan towards the middle of the windshield too. So it records all three channels. So you, uh, it's IR or infrared, so you'll be able to see the interior of the car at night as well. Okay. Um, it, uh, being within the city, it's hardwired to the fuse box with a, like a, add a fuse kit. So you can have it record while the car is parked. So in the event that somebody does hit your car, you can at least have a chance of getting the license plate. Yeah. And of course, I, I just wanted the three channel dash cam. Um, before this, I had a A129, which uh, a plus, which was like a 1440p camera. Okay. It was nice. Um, Viofo. Not that it, not that this is a review of a dash cam. But. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, <laughs> I don't think we've had a dash cam on any channel. I mean, any other Panthers yet. I have a dash cam laying around that I haven't well, put in yet. It's definitely useful. Well, over here, there have been many, many, many problems. <laughs> what is the your stereo? It's what? an XAV. It's, I think it's a 5500. Okay. Um, it's a nice fit. It's it's interesting. It has. It, it, you need to use. <laughs> you you just still have to Dremel some things. Um, uh, Was there issues in the dash? No, believe it or not, I've I know that in the older models that. Uh, the air, uh, like an air duct, runs behind there on the top portion. So yep. I thought that was going to be a concern. Um, I believe it's a, a pretty deep stereo, from what I remember. I, I haven't. It's been so long since I put that in. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's CarPlay, the works, the rear camera work, hooks up to that as well. Okay. So. Would you recommend that Sony? Yeah. Is uh, it touch screen? Uh, touch screen and everything. It's not multi-touch, but so you have to. You can only use one finger at a time, so it's harder to zoom. But yeah. Cool. And yeah, I like that fit. It's like very, very sleek, very nice. I didn't need a CD player anyway, so it was. It does, is there a CD player? There what? Uh, there was with the older. Yeah. The AM FM. Yeah. Other than that, it's pretty run of the mill, even in the back seats. So. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go look in the back, because we just have to get everywhere. We gotta go everywhere. Of course, the back seats are always clean. Do you have people back here? Not very often. Not Every right. once in a while. Yeah, I got my kids back here, and then the back is messy until I clean it. Okay, there's the others. Too. Okay. It's been like I said, it's been so long, and I've reran wires so many times. So I believe that the wire for that runs along the passenger side. Then I have one wire running along the driver's side, and then I have then the rear camera runs along the passenger side on the bottom of all places on the floor, so. It's not call it a header panel. What am I talking about? Uh, headliner. Headliner. Yeah. There you go. I was We're gonna edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> it's a little dirty, but yeah. It's... Cool. Well. Oh, and then the last thing I did was put a remote start in it, because. No, really? Oh, uh, it had a remote start, but it stopped working. Oh. <clears throat> it would it wouldn't crank so I replaced it um, so it has, it's a new alarm system as well but 
Okay, so your remote started does work or no? Yeah, now it does. Okay, yeah. let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah. If I can get the key out of my pocket. Let's... That's so cool. I've, I haven't seen one of these with a remote starter yet. So you put the key in the ignition and then you, you, and then you, you put go. in gear. Yeah. yeah. You press the, if you hit the brake with your foot without the key in, which has happened a couple times. It'll die? It just mm -hmm. dies. Yeah, because you have to uh, shift into gear, you have, to put, you have to hit the brake. Yeah. So, so you got to put the key in first and then put the brake on and then shift gears? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It'll get the car warmed up or cooled down. I've used, I mostly actually I've used it mostly during the summer, believe it or not, because oh. um, it's nicer to have the car cool and you know it's been getting warmer out. And with those years. paint, it, it heats up, huh? Yeah, my wife would love this. How much was the starter or the the other? So I don't know how much it was particularly because he, I was charged labor for removing the old one, which I believe there were wired units. So, but the, all in all, it was like. 400 okay that's a good investment they had um they had uh they also have two-way remote starts so like it'll there's like a little display on your on your remote that'll or like a light that'll say that you know the car has been started okay if you're too far away cool you can well, also auto stop it too man that's cool that's a cool little feature my wife hates to go outside and uh, start the car in the morning, especially <laughs> now. Yeah. So she'll, uh, she has a remote starter, it's me. <laughs> well, I think that'll wrap everything up. Unless there's something else you want to do, show, or talk about, Albert. I don't think so, besides the fact that I need new tires, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, a new one out there. And I think this one's giving out I new think tires. This one, I think this one's damaged too. The tire? Yes, because I just filled it up, like, literally on uh, Saturday. I want to say yeah no Friday and uh, it's already going down I think this is the one that they said needed to be like was beyond repairable so okay well Albert here's my hand thank you for your time thank you for your awesome uh, mercury and um, we'll put this up this Sunday 9 a.m. and we'll include all your channels and Instagrams and um, if you want or if you can send me some white or pictures of the white car Yeah, yeah, I'll send, like the, yeah, yeah. I got you. and that way we'll get included because uh, going from white to gray is a big difference Yeah, it is a big and then oh and then motor vehicle was fun, too Because I did I did have it retitled. <laughs> yeah too, after so Cool. Thank you guys for watching love what you drive. This was Albert with us 2007 Mercury Grand Marquis LS. See you in the next one